I am Monique Snook. If you keep all your money in cash, you know what you have by just counting your bills and coins. With virtual money, you rely on the bank for keeping track of how much money you have and correctly adjust it with every transaction that you do. A potential problem is that the bank constitutes a single point of trust and failure. The bank system is a single place I could try to hack to pretend I own a few thousand euros more. Imagine that instead we would all keep a record of who owns what, including the entire history of transactions. If I buy your car for 1000 euros, then everyone will take note of the fact that I transfer 1000 euros from my account to yours. It thus becomes much harder to cheat. In a system with 100 participants, I would need to control the majority of the participants, so more than 50, to make it look like I have more money than I actually do. Blockchain is a technology used for creating such distributed storage of a history of transactions. A blockchain system can also be used to store information about material goods and how these are handled in a logistic chain. In this way, it offers interesting possibilities for trusted record keeping on food chains, the origin of FSC labeled wood, etc. But using blockchain technology requires quite some knowledge. This hampers the adoption of this interesting technology for general commercial use. At KU Leuven, we developed the Marode method, which allows generating code from high-level information system plans. Researchers at Unamur have now expanded the Marode method so that it can be used to design a blockchain system and simply generate the code. This will enable companies to develop prototype systems easily. In this way, they can experience the possibilities of blockchain without needing to know all sorts of technical detail.